Hello and welcome to our channel YouTube. So today's lesson we will focus on the five types of leadership styles. So leadership is a social influence process in which the leaders seek the voluntary participation of subordinates in an effort by attracting the subordinate head, head the heart, and the hand in order to contribute contribute to reach organization goals. A leader can be defined as a person whose delegate influence influencing others with specific objectives. In many organizations or companies, they usually need an effective leader who understand the complexities of the rapidly changing the global environment. Alright, so here is this uh, leadership styles. So leadership style here, we focus on uh, authoritarian leadership, democratic leadership, transformational leadership, transactional leadership, and instructional leadership. So this leadership style will be used differently differently based on the you know behaviors of the leaders all right so number one we are talking about authoritative leadership an authoritative leadership maintains control through strict strict rules guidance and negative consequence and authoritarian leaders does not Consult others in decision making process. Also, veterans, instructors maintain the tight classroom settings and are categorized by high expectations and strict rules. And also, veterans, instructors also recognized by opportunities, actions, the crew directors, and restrictors' behaviors. All right, so number two, we are talking about democratic leadership. Democratic leadership include participation of individuals in the leaders. It's perceived as opposite of the, you know, autocratic and authoritarian leadership. Democratic leadership style was found to be the most effective style because student performance is improved is improved by encouragement of class participation and in decision making. The authors also noticed that a democratic leadership style strengthens relationship between students and teachers well. Right, so number three we are talking about transformational leaderships. So Transformational leadership style concentrate on the development of followers as well as their needs. Managers with transformational leadership style concentrate on the growth and the development of value systems of employees. Their inspirational level and met you know moralities with the principles of their abilities. According to Baseline, the aims of contractional leadership would transform people and organizes and size a literal sense to alert, touch them in the minds and the heart in large reasons, inside and understanding clarify reasons, make behaviors with value concepts and bring about change which are performant, self pitorating and moment beings. So it is very useful that transformation now will be used in other you know to concentrate or to develop the mindset of the the employee. Alright so number four we are talking about Transactional leadership. So, transactional leadership style 
here based on a base and Avolio tool. Explain the transactional leadership motivate subordinates through the use of you know contingents to reward corrective actions rule and reinforcement. So the trend sectional leadership will first validate the relationship between performance and reward and then it changes it for appropriate response and encourage the subordinate to improve the performance. So this is important to make the rule to reinforce in order to improve the stock performance to make it more result in working performance. All right, so number five, we're talking about instructional leadership. So instructional leadership is the ability to involve the college with collaboratively in learning and development with the main purpose of improving teachings and learning so that teachers can play in the classroom settings in virtuous environment so that learners can achieve the desired learning outcomes. So all style of leadership here, you know, some leader they will prefer a different style, but some condition, you know, each and in or individual leadership style sometimes will be combined together. That is based on the the behaviors of leaders. All right, so at the end of today's lessons, we hope that this video will give leaders more tips in order to get, you know, um, well result to lead or to lead their subordinate getting more effectively in organization.